25 years and still talking, this is GabNet, the Great American Broadcast Network. Talk like you've never heard it before. From Infection City, it's the Ramble with Alex Bennett, and we're here until midnight tonight, Eastern Daylight Time. Everybody, isn't that a nice uh, opening we have there for our uh, COVID report? <laughs> Boy, it's upbeat, isn't it? It's so happy from all around the world, all these empty cities with nothing on the streets to show for it. Anyway, how are you? Good to see you here on a uh, on a on a Tuesday. Uh, of course, uh, to keep you abreast of the times, I suppose it would be good if we went over to our big map. There it is, folks. There's the map as of tonight. Oh, boy. Let me just uh, uh, position it a little better towards me here. You, you can't see that. I just got to look at it. Okay, over here, our worldwide uh, 4,259,255 people who've come down with the uh, COVID thing. Okay? All righty. Okay. All right. Did that make you happy? Okay, I hope it did. Uh, let's see here. And then uh, global deaths, 291,843. Oh, boy. That's a lot. Okay, isn't it? Okay. And uh, let me see here. Uh, let's go to the United States. Uh, let's go see what we got here. In uh, Trump land, USA, this is uh, what Trump has wrought. 1,369,386. I say that. Because, after all, he is president of the United States, and after all, he should be watching out for all of us, right? But I guess uh, he isn't as much as we thought he was. Okay? All righty. Uh, and uh, how, many, how many deaths do we have here in the United States? Oh, 82,339. Well, that's not bad. It could be more. But it isn't. Let's look on the bright side of things, okay? All right. That's uh, the, the bright side of things. Uh, let me see here. So that's our uh, uh, that's what we're uh, what we're looking at right now. And um, well, let me see here. Uh, what else do we have here? Uh, we have um, we have a little graph of things going up here. Uh, by the way, let me say that uh, New York is is on the down slope, and uh, we're so happy about that. You know. That, uh, that we're down on the downslope of things, and uh, uh, that's good. Uh, but uh, we're, uh, uh, the United States is still going up. In other words, we, we, hit a, uh, uh, we hit a plateau, okay? We hit a plateau. Um, and when we hit that plateau, okay, we started coming down on the other side of it. And now we are down to about where we were when this whole thing started. Not exactly, but close. Uh, close enough, okay? And um, that's our, uh, that's what we've been doing, okay? So we're, we're better than we were. 
let me just do something here. I got to get my, I had an old trouble with my, uh, my uh, face being too bright. Is it too, it's not too bright now, but it was when I had it up a little higher here. There we go. That's just about right. Okay. That's nice. Okay. So anyway, so we're, uh, we're, we're on the downslope. We're, 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 things are getting much better. Yesterday we were down to, what was it, 160 uh, dead people? Uh, and today it went up to about 180. Uh, but that's going to bounce around a little bit. I want to see it go below. I'm waiting for it to go below 100. Then I think it'll be safe enough for me to go to the hospital. But anyway, be that as it may, um, uh, things have been, you know, we've been adapting to this new normal, as we call it, and we've been calling it the new normal for quite a while here, and for good reason. Uh, you know, this is a new way that we have to learn to live. Now, if you don't think this is going to last for a while, you're dead wrong. It's going to last for quite a while. It's going to last for quite a long time. Uh, and what you have to get used to are the new modalities. For instance, wearing a mask outdoors. So what? You know, that's the least you can do. And plus, they'll get fashionable. They'll have fashion uh, uh, masks. I saw that Vera Wang today uh, showed, uh, boy, she's 71. She got a body on her at 71. My, my, my. Anyway, so she looks great. Anyway, uh, she, had a, she was wearing a, a mask that was fashioned out of a certain color to fit the ensemble. So we're going to see that starting to happen. Uh, we're going to start seeing it to where people are going to see people who aren't wearing masks and go, wear a mask, idiot, you know? Um, it, it's just, it, it, it's, it's uh, being nice to other people. It's having consideration for other people uh, and making sure that you... Uh, you are watching out for others' health, and then they're wearing their mask to protect you. And it's kind of an interesting kind of cooperation between people and brings us closer together. And here in New York, we've gotten very used to this. We, the New Yorkers are just terrific for the most part. I mean, I've, I've seen some people who are assholes about it, but for the most part, they're, they're pretty good. And um, we're very, uh, I'm very happy about that. I, I love seeing... New Yorkers in a in a bad situation because it always turns out to be a much better than bad situation. Okay. Anyway, so it, we all adapt, and one of the things I couldn't adapt to, to tell you the truth, is my hair just kept growing and growing. There's nothing you can do to stop it. Even when you die, your hair keeps growing. Believe it or not, uh, fingernails keep growing for a while. So um, uh, hair just keeps growing no matter what. And if there's a, and there's no way you could get to the barber because the barber is closed, right? The barber shop is closed. And then I went online. I went to uh, uh, Amazon to go look for um, uh, uh, clippers, you know, the, the hair cutters, right? And there's this really one, nice one made by Wall. It's color coded and everything like that, and runs about seventy bucks. And so I, I looked at that on Amazon, and they were all sold out. And they've been all sold out for weeks. And then somebody wrote to me and said, here, go over to eBay. They've got some over there. And I didn't even think to go to eBay. But if you want something, eBay's usually got it somewhere. Uh, but I thought, oh, boy, they're going to charge an arm and a leg for this. And I went over there, and they were selling them for 70 bucks. So I ordered one, and about, uh, it took about a week, and it got to me, and I got the, uh, the uh, hair clippers. Uh, now, I can't do it myself because it's okay. I can do this, okay? But when I get back here, I can't get it. And, of course, girlfriend has always had what I call the Delilah complex. She loves the idea of being able to cut my hair. So I gave her the opportunity. And uh, this is one of the slowest videos you're ever going to see. But watch it. Watch it come off. Okay? All righty. Here we go. All right, so we're gonna do the. Um, yeah. I need to do some of the turkey neck. Um, here, here we go. Here we go. She's uh, combing my hair. I don't know why. Uh, just uh, we're gonna cut my hair now. Oh boy. You gotta bring the chair a little closer. A little closer to you. Yeah. Okay. But here we are. There we go. All right. No move. Okay. You should start on the sides, yeah. Is it coming off? Oh my god, look at this. Oh. 
Mm-mm. Am I hurting you? No, no, not at all. It's just like being in the barber shop. <laughs> Do I get a tip? This is a good lens. Is it? Yeah. Is there some length there? Yeah, a little. It's like when you go to the army. Wow, is it coming off by the tongue? By the tongue. Oh boy. This is gonna feel good though when it's through. Stop moving. Okay. Well, one of my sorority sisters, uh -huh. her husband colored her hair. Yeah? You know, oh, really? Well, you have to be creative. Am I hurting you? No, no. at all. Okay, now the back is where it's really long. Oh! Look at that. Oh. Come with your head. <laughs> I love the way they coming off like it's a snowfall here. <laughs> Look at that. Look at how much hair I've got. Yeah. Man, it's been weeks. It's been more than that. It's been months. And then you're going to have to do some trimming on the bottom. Yeah, of course. Are you enjoying doing this? Yeah. Mm -hmm. I, I know. You've been wanting, you've been wanting to do it. Well, I used to cut David's hair, but he had long hair. This is the first time I've ever used this kind of thing. Yeah, but you could do this long hair, too. They've got, you know, longer lengths and so on. Oh, geez, that feels so great. <laughs> Does it? Yeah, it's not as close as the other as my barber would do it, but it's close enough. Yeah. Mm -hmm. There we go. Look at that. <laughs> oh boy, this is a uh, quarantine haircut. Actually, these things, these, these are the same. You know, great. This is the same kind of. Stop moving your head. This is the same kind of thing my barber would have used. Yeah, but he probably has one that goes right to the scalp. Yeah, probably. They probably don't want to give it to regular people. Oh, boy. <laughs> oh, does that feel good? <laughs> does it? Oh, geez. I mean, I just felt like I look at myself every day. You know, Marcel Marceau said to me when I was uh, younger, he says, you look like a young Albert Einstein. <laughs> and I, I took that as a very nice compliment. And uh, I look at myself in the mirror when my hair was like growing out like this and going every which way. Mm -hmm. I, I said, I God, I am looking like Einstein. <laughs> so he had more hair. Well, he, he no, he had it on the sides. It was, yeah, but, he was, but he was bald on he top. Was bald on top. I think so. Yeah. Well, this has been really simple. Yeah, in fact. There's a thing for the sides, but I don't think we need it because I'm not. I'm cutting it too close to worry about that. Did you notice there was those for the sides? No. Yeah. I, I mean, we're not going into parting and styling. You're just getting a, you're getting an army haircut. Basically. Yeah. Yeah. Is this what they did when you yeah. went into the Navy? Yeah, make sure you're all along the top that it's because it gets like on the, the sides that you're even. Wow, that, that's a great shaver. It only costs yeah. 70 bucks. Wow. And how many times do you go to the barber shop? I don't oh. know, but I may have you do this all the time. Yeah. What the hell? I could do that. You could do this once every two weeks for me. Just keep my hair and it looking good. Yeah. Are you watching this, Anderson Cooper, and all you guys who aren't getting haircuts? <laughs> I didn't know this was his hair longer. Huh? 
Anderson Cooper, was it longer? I don't know. I have no idea. But you look at all these people on television. But you look at the women. And, and I mean, the little women. <laughs> The women are having to style themselves. Yeah, they, and, and everybody's they, having to make themselves up. That one over here. Let's see here. Uh -huh. uh, there we go, there we go, there we go, there we go. Uh. Mm -hmm. This one. Uh, this is, is it almost done? Yeah. Want to go look in the mirror in the bathroom? No, I, I, I can see it here. Oh, wow. Whoa. Uh, we'll try just going up here a little bit. Yeah. Because it feels like maybe... Not... See, when you hear cutting, yeah. you, can, you can tell it's not exactly... Well, I can't, I, you know, I, this is a little longer than I usually get. Oh. Yeah, this is usually, because I, I can tell by feeling it, too. Yeah. I always like to put yeah. my hands in your hair. Yeah, this is, makes great television, doesn't it? <laughs> this is what I call slow video. This you is know, this is like... Quarantine entertainment. Like, uh, you know... Stuff dropping, you know, as, uh, uh, water melting, things like that, you know. I call it slow TV. Do you know how to clean it? Yeah, yeah. but it, it, you don't clean it. You, you, you brush, you just it, brush it and use oil. And you take these things the, off. Yeah, every couple of ones we use the oil. i got to order more oil. Mm -hmm. But here, here we Can I get it? Give what it to me. How about down here? Did you get that? Look at the floor. Yeah. Did Look you? at the floor. I know. It all went in one place. <laughs> wow. That's amazing. Wait a minute. Hold on a second. Let me show you. There you go. <laughs> wow. Wait a minute. Let me do this. Oh, boy. Hey. Hey, hey, hey. That looks good. And did you do the bottom along here? Uh-huh. Because maybe I need more. We'll go look in there. But is there hair here? No. No, okay. I took it all the way down the neck. Look how beautiful your gray is. Wait a minute, hold on a second. Let me let me show people. Here we go. Right, there's my gray hair. There's his hair. Yeah. And the tip gets left right there. And the tip, I have to leave her a tip. Yes. Oh, okay. There goes my hair into the garbage. There goes your hair. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, if I have grease on this eye, it's because I've been making my eye feel better. Anyway, that's what we do when we get old, okay? Yeah, All true. right, well, wait a minute. Let me see here. Uh, maybe I can show you the back here. Here, why, why, why don't you... Here, let me... Okay. It just... Uh, I think I can show you the back. Look at that. You got it. Okay, that's my uh, that's my video of my haircut. Wow, exciting, huh? And now back to our regularly scheduled program. <laughs> anyway, isn't that cute? Okay, well, anyway, she got to cut my hair, and that's what she wanted to do, and that's what we allowed her to do, and uh, uh, we're, we're, you know... It, 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 it's one way that we've survived the the uh, quarantine, uh, by and I now I what I found out. See here, here's what happens with the new normal. That re, it, oh here look, huh? Look at that. Look at that. It's great. Look at the bag. It's just it's terrific. You know she did a great job, and I usually pay fifteen bucks for that. Well, I'm going to save fifteen bucks every six weeks. Okay now because. I can do it here, and in fact, so I look good for this show, we can do it about every two weeks, you know, and it's not going to be a problem. Anyway, 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 this is the program which uh, we, uh, because of my uh, prostate situation with the uh, prostate cancer being radiated and seeds put in there and my, uh, my prostate uh, expanding because of its uh, uh, being punched it like a, a pincushion, uh, I, I feel that I have to go to the bathroom more often. So I always warn people, somewhere along the program, I may have to go to the bathroom. 
but I, isn't that wonderful? Uh, but I just excuse myself in advance, and the fact of the matter is that I probably uh, won't need to do that. But, you know, just in case I do, I tell you, and uh, whatever. But, eh. and it, lately it's been, like, really acting up, you know, so I'm, I'm just hoping it gets better. I'm so sick of this, you know. I mean, the, the prostate is probably okay. That We don't know. We haven't had all the... Uh, the blood tests and things like that, and that wouldn't tell us anything. Uh, CT scan of the of the work and so forth. Uh, but uh, I assume it's okay, and I'm in better shape not doing something and going to a hospital right now. And, and I'm not so worried about the hospital. You know, I'm not worried that a hospital is going to be that infected. What I am worried about is, and this is a, this is a good worry to have, uh, uh, that, that that if I got to the hospital, I'd be safe. Okay, because they're washing everything down, and they're they're uh, they're high autoclaving their bodies, and they're doing whatever it takes, you know, to just not uh, not have to uh, worry. What's happening with Skype? It's just whirling around here. There we go. Okay. Um, so anyway, uh, I, we are, uh, you know, we're, it, 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 it's getting to the hospital that's the problem. See, because I got to take like a, a cab or a. Oh, they, I don't even see any cabs out on the street right now, uh, but lifts and Ubers and things like that. And I don't know how clean are they. You know, I can't imagine they're, you know, clean. So you got to wear the mask and the gloves and everything. So I figure another couple of weeks I'm gonna be able to go out and get my blood done and get the uh, CT scan and do all that. So anyway, uh, we're waiting now for you to call the program uh, as people do. Um, it's time. I guess maybe, maybe we chased everybody. Oh, hey, we got a lot of people, man. They all like my haircut. Man, we got to do more programming like that, okay? Mm. Mm -hmm. Oh, there we go. Hey, you hear that? That means somebody's calling, and it's our, always our first guy is, lately is always Brian Neary. It's almost like he wants to be the first guy to show up here, okay? <laughs> Just... <laughs> Waiting to be on the show. <laughs> yeah, you, you, you just sit there, r r r fastest finger round on the, well, who wants to be a millionaire. Here, <laughs> no. here comes uh, Jeff Zeller. Let me see here. Did we have him anywhere in the in the first three last week? Uh, no. Well, last mm -hmm. time, no. Okay. Well, I'm just I'm gonna find a place for you here, Jeff. Uh, let's see here, Jeff Zeller. Oh, wait a minute. Well, there's Charlie Wallace. He was on here originally last week. Wait a minute. So let's see if he pops up somewhere here. Uh, are you there, Charlie? Oh, there he is. And he, let's see if he pops up. Okay. Now we'll take Mr. Zeller and we will put him, uh, let's see here, in, I believe that's him, and that's the spot he goes into. And let's see what happens. Ah, there he is. There's Mr. Zeller. How are you, Mr. Zeller? Boy, I'm being I'm, so fancy with you, with Mr. I'm Zeller. Good. Yeah, I know. good, 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 good. How y'all doing, guys? Uh, yeah, good. good. Wish I could get Marjorie to cut my hair. Yeah, didn't she do a good? <laughs> didn't she do a great job, man? Look she did at a that. great job. Look at that. Look at that. You know, and I was I was kind of worried about it, but then I figured, you know, how badly can you do hair? Number one, I'm not going out, so nobody's going to see it if it's terrible, okay? And if it's terrible, all hair grows out, and it'll be okay. I mean, the, what, what's the one thing we always changed about our personalities? Because if we didn't like it, we could always change it back. And that was our hair, right? We grew it long. We uh, did that. We did a whole bunch of things to it. And, you know, hair is very malleable, I think is maybe the term I'm looking for here. Charlie, have you, have you, yeah. Charlie how big have you gotten your hair before? <laughs> it's, uh, almost to the 70s. Yeah, almost to the 70s. <laughs> I see. Bigger in the 70s? Did you have your hand up, Jeff? Yeah, I was going to say, I, at one time, I was uh, ready to uh, go to a wedding, I think it was. Mm -hmm. And I had a nice mm -hmm. beard, a mm -hmm. little longer than now. Yeah. And I trimmed it. Yeah. And unfortunately, with the trimming it, mm -hmm. I just took it and with the machine, it went... Mm. And I put a slot in it this big. Mm -hmm. <laughs> then I decided, well, can I make it just a bigger and this and that? 
by the time I made it, I went to that wedding. What, 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 are, what, are, what, are, what are, those are some noisy birds, man. <laughs> it's a crow. Huh? It's a crow. It, it, are there, there are crows where you are, right, Ray Renati? Yeah, there's one crow, yeah. And, and you're taking what? a... You're, one crow? You're, one you're, crow. You're, you're taking a walk. Uh, uh, let me see yeah. here. I'm trying to figure out which one is John Larkin. I think he's one of the ones that doesn't... Uh, let me see here. If this is okay, what? let me Didn't see. Did it say what. my name? Yeah, I, I, I'm just trying. There we go. We got you. Okay, because what happens is you and Jeff both don't give yourself names, and you take whatever you take that. whatever Skype is going to give you. All right, and and so there are these big long numbers, and I had to figure out which big long number was yours and which long number was his. Here comes Kevin. Um, hello there, Kevin. Are you there? Yeah, he's there. Let me see here. Let me see. He's going to be um, uh, hog, uh, hog dog or whatever. Hog rider. There we go. Okay, there he is. And then I got to go over to uh, Magno is calling now. Let me let me put uh, him on in the in the uh, eighth place. Pati pati hobo hobo. Let me see here. Uh, where is he? He is Webhead. Okay. All right. And uh, man, I'm I'm doing this pretty easily now. I'm not as as um, as bad a problem with it. Hello, uh, Tony. How are you? I hang it in there. Still alive in Queens. Yeah. Uh, uh, let me see here. Uh, uh, wait a minute. What happened to John Larkin? Are you still there, John? Yeah, you're still there. What? Why? Yeah, you were in the number three spot. You were in the number uh, f four spot, and you should be here. One, two, th oh, there you are. Okay, and here comes Phil Meyer. Boy, Phil's late, late to the game. Uh, we've saved one spot for you here, Phil. Hold on a second. Let me go down to uh, seventh place, and that will go to, um, 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 let's see here. Uh, well, he hasn't hasn't exactly signed in yet. Let me see here. Are you signed in, uh, Phil? Phil, where are you? Here he comes again. I see he has a problem. Are you there, Phil? Can you hear us, Phil? Here. Oh, oh, oh. I better hang up because I dialed back and it's not right. What is what is that? <laughs> oh God. Yeah. It's oh, probably your right. fault, Alex. Here he, here he comes again. Here he comes again. And let's yeah. see here. Okay, no. now we got you. Okay, let me see here. I'm putting you in the number seven spot, and that would be Scuba Diver. You're always down at the bottom with the S's. Okay, and there we are. There's a, you know, who knows if anybody else will call tonight, but that's pretty much as, as close to a uh, citizen-type panel as we can get. Okay? Uh, without Alex, I got yeah, I got one of the, the stories you always bring up about the girlfriends always wanting to cut hair. Yeah. So a long, long time ago, my girlfriend kept saying, I'll cut your hair, cut your hair. I finally caved in. Mm -hmm. Everything was OK. But right in here, it was like it's like a quarter of an inch high. So I end up shaving my head because of that. Really? Well, this you know, with me, it's not a big deal. OK, you just take a number one and you go, yeah, yeah, yeah. You saw it on the on the video and uh, uh, you can't do wrong by me. And uh, but if I had like a Tony haircut as an example, I, I need a haircut. If, they, if, you, want, if, you, if you want to consider that a haircut yeah, or, it's not, or it's even, a John, even, it's John, John, even John's got some hair. Uh, uh, Kevin, you're you're kind of hairy, aren't you on the top? Yeah, yeah, cut it yeah. Out. yeah. You were a little receded, but that's about it. So that takes a little bit of grooming, okay? But they have all the instructions for that, and they have different blades for different lengths and things like that. So if I wanted my hair to have been longer, I could have done it much longer than this. But I just I just went once this this was getting so lousy back here. You know, tufts of hair were like standing out on their own, and it was really a, it was a pain in the ass. So so hi Kevin, haven't seen you since uh, Saturday actually. Uh, huh. And uh, how you doing? Yeah. You have a good yeah. weekend. Yeah, I mean, yeah. You know, I mean, what I don't know when it's a weekend anymore. Yeah, you're right. Yeah, He's a bleeding you into know, each other. I mean, Marjorie has to say to me, is today Wednesday yet? <clears throat> you know, and I go, no, it's Tuesday. Oh, okay. I was just wondering. 
you know, uh, I, I just want to know if I have to go to work tomorrow. You mean go to your desk here? You know, <laughs> I mean, you really lose all sense of of days. And I mean, you ever see those things about people who are blind and they they don't know what time it is because there's my no brother was saying that my mom has a hard time seeing. She loses track of the time, Alex. Sometimes, yeah, you're right about that. At night, she gets a little like, "What time is it?" Yeah. It's a it's a uh, it's a, a, a situation. It's called, I can't remember what it's called. Is that what it is? Because she it's gets called, that sometimes. Okay, Phil just left the room. He can all say nasty things about him. Go ahead. Go ahead. See his stupid pants he's wearing. What the hell? Yeah, well, look, <laughs> stupid. Well, actually, I'm wearing fairly good pants tonight because I'm wearing my um, I'm wearing my um, workout pants, uh, which I wear now I'm wearing any beca pants. because I work out. <laughs> I've been I've worked out twice this week already. Okay, I don't do much. Do about twenty minutes, twenty five minutes on the cycle. Do about four miles, and uh, four imaginary miles. And uh, it it's kind of nice because I don't have to leave the house to do it or anything. So now I'm going to save uh, uh, every month. Save fifteen bucks on a haircut, fifteen bucks on the gym. So so far I've learned how to live, uh, uh, you know, thirty bucks cheaper. So. And plus, we're not spending money on much of anything, just groceries, which are so fucking expensive now. Huh? Why? Yep. They say groceries are 50% more expensive now. Whoa. Oh, wow. Yeah. There's one store over here, this uh, an Indian store, mm -hmm. and they got turned into the police because they were price gouging. They would have like three ninety nine mm -hmm. on there, and they actually crossed it off and put six ninety nine. And that people oh, started yeah, complaining. I heard about that. Yeah. yeah. Well, yeah, I, was talk I was talking about the hair cutter that I bought for 70 bucks. If I went online and tried to get it anywhere else, it would have been 200 It was. I saw it on Amazon. You could get it from a second buyer or seller for $200. And they tried to say, well, we're not doing, we're, we're fighting gouging. Well, how's that fighting gouging? <laughs> You know, but I, tell you, I didn't tell you the trouble I had with, with, um, with Amazon the other day. Uh, I, uh, sometimes I don't get packages. I don't get packages because somebody in this apartment house is stealing packages, especially during this time, right? I guess they're at home and they have nothing else to do. And I didn't get it because they left it downstairs. So I, I, I wanted to go to Amazon and tell them I'm not going to pay for it. Go try and find somebody at Amazon now. They, there's no longer a phone number. You can't call them. Because that's unhealthy for their people. It's unhealthy for my pocketbook. It used to be you could call them and say, hey, I didn't get this. Here's your money back. Uh, you want us to send you out another one? Yeah, sure, send me out another one. Uh-uh. I can't. If you go to their site, it takes you forever to figure out how to get a hold of somebody. And then it's only a chat. Now, granted, the person took care of my thing and gave me back my money, and it was pretty fast. But you got to really go looking for it now. It's it's not like uh, like in the old days where it just happened. That was it, you know. So now I'm beginning to hate Amazon because they're not handling this whole thing too well. And then I order something like I ordered Marjorie some chocolates because she was running out, and she is going to run out because it's not going to be here till the 19th, and they ordered oh, it a week shit. ago. That's a that's a week. Yeah, yeah. So I mean, but anyway. Yeah. So you can't count on Amazon anymore, you know. They they're falling apart, and uh, let's see here. Then you guys in California are losing Tesla, huh? What? Who cares? Where are they going, Nevada? Huh? Well, they say maybe Texas too. Yeah, that's like six thousand jobs, I think, in this area. Well, Almost yeah, 10, yeah. If if uh, but the thing is, if he if he moves if he if he moves the company to Nevada, it's going to take him about five days to get there because he's going to have to stop. Over uh, for about eight hours to recharge every two hundred miles, <laughs> so you know. Yeah, but the battery the battery plant's in Nevada already, so. Oh, I see. Okay, well, if you can get there, you're 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 in good shape. No, I. I yeah. yeah. It's amazing to me. It's amazing to me. Uh, I thought so, that place was all automated. That what? I I thought his. Uh, his uh, car place was all automated. I think it the is to a large delivery extent. Systems. Yeah, the delivery systems are all automated. They have tape on all the line on the floors and everything. Mm -hmm. But then actually the assembly part of that is hand. You know, a lot of that is by hand, you know, by all their machines lining up, 
but um, they have a lot of workforce. People who left our company have gone to Tesla and they come back. We're already bad with overtime and working six or seven days a week, mm -hmm. and they're even worse. Wow. And that's why they're protesting. Yeah. Yeah. We have a lot of people protesting right now because of that. Hey, yeah. does Bart hey, go to San Diego? Brian, where are you? Uh, Almaden Valley. Oh, because hey, I'm in Palo Alto. Bart goes way to Almaden Valley? Yeah. Whoa. Yeah. Yeah. What, Amazing. What, I never Where heard of Almaden Valley, however. How far is that from San Fran? Is that far from San Francisco? Don't well, call us. No, no. It, 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 Bart no, goes no. around the bay, and, and now it used to always stop in Fremont, but now it goes all the way down to South San Jose. Yeah. It yeah. Was, it's, it's in San Jose. Yeah. We have a whole cool. bunch of people South, here who live close to San each other. Jose. In, yeah. in fact, Tony is the only one on the uh, main mm. Skype screen here. Let's see here. We got Ray. He's in the Bay Area. We have uh, John Larkin. He's in the Bay Area. We have Brian Neary. He's in the Bay Area. We have F Phil. He's in the Bay Area. We have Kevin. He's in the Bay Area. It's just Charlie, oh, no. Charlie, uh, Tony, and me. And what about oh, and Jeff? Jeff. And Jeff. Liver? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. He is chopped liver, as a matter of fact. I've met him, and he's delicious. <laughs> you don't get hungry. He's delicious. Uh, anyway, so. Um, um, uh, anybody see Fauci today on Fauci TV? Yes. Uh, yep. sure. You mean yeah. his testimony? Yep. Yeah, yeah. We're screwed. Yeah. <laughs> We're screwed. We'll see him with, with Trump. Yeah, anymore. I think he's done. Yeah. <laughs> trying to. <laughs> Well, okay. I, I, you know, finally, I think he finally I think, got it. He got out on his own and said, "We're screwed." I, I think, <laughs> I, I think it would be, it would be a big, big mistake for Trump to be so egotistical as to get rid of him because he is probably the crown jewel in what is otherwise a stinky pot. You know, mm -hmm. uh, didn't Ouchie say that he and Trump and the uh, and the other doctors are in total alignment? And that uh, no, when, when, when no did he say, when did he say no when did when did he say that? Testimony said that there was no space between uh, his his opinion and uh, and Trump's. Anybody hear that? Or he knew who Trump was. Trump well, said he said drink bleach. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. There's no way Fauci than blind with that. Charlie Charlie uses fake news. Oh That's really? Why. He didn't say that, Phil? <laughs> yes, I did. He didn't say that. Trump didn't no. say that you should take the, the, the we might be we might be able to use disinfectant and fill people with ultraviolet light and uh, and, 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 and 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 other things that's and what that's what you uh, want to be. Would said. you like me to go get a cop play it for you? How about a little box of Clo a little Clorox shot? Huh? <laughs> you yeah. go wash it down with Drano. <laughs> yeah, I think I'm gonna get a, a bartender. My wife just left me. Please make me a, a mai tai with bleach. Yeah. You know what's scary? Alex? They're believing these people. The whole pandemic. I heard somebody was trying to tell me it was all planned. There's a documentary floating around on YouTube. Mm -hmm. Pandemic. I don't want to promote it, but yeah. they're actually believing this nonsense. Yeah, and they're saying that the doctors have been lying about how many deaths there are in New York. Uh, yeah, they're saying like they get paid many. if they. Phil, you send me that thing, where they're getting like thirty-nine grand if they put death certificate if it's COVID. Yeah. Why would they do that? That's Come absurd. on, exactly. These guys. And like, and so there's like hundreds and hundreds of doctors lying. Yeah, like in, in, it's so in bizarre. Yeah, you know, like doctors need thirty-nine uh, grand. Uh, who was uh, Stiller? Uh, he he died of sure. natural COVID causes. No, he didn't. No, it was natural causes. Ben said tweet. <laughs> they didn't say COVID. COVID. They or never COVID. said COVID in any of the news that I saw. That Phil's 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 Still kidding. I think I think Phil's you know, kidding. No festivus for Phil. That's it. I'm done. <laughs> yeah. You know where 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 is your sense of humor? Oh God. <laughs> Well, it kind of it kind of dis dead. it kind of disappeared with Trump becoming president. Yeah. 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 Well, that should have given you plenty of humor. <laughs> well, know? it was funny for about a week and a half. Okay. Hello, <laughs> Rob. How are you? I'm good. How are you? Yeah. It's Rob in his studio. Which, yeah. Which is how, is it working I, good now? Listen. I got to listen to Rob's radio station and I tell you something, I like it. Well, Rob, you didn't tell me about where it is. 
It's uh, I just turned it on this weekend, and uh, it's the third day it's been running. But it's been on and off a little bit because I've been making little changes here and there. Mm -hmm. I changed the broadcaster. I went from butt to another broadcaster, and I had to, to bring it down for that. And then well, I just said, you know, I don't want to get into it. But um, I can send you a link. You send me a link. I want to know where I can yeah. listen to it. <laughs> you know, okay. I, I will listen. post it. Because, come on, you can't listen to GabNet all day long, okay? Otherwise, That's you right. want to shoot yourself. <laughs> <laughs> now, can you uh, download to, uh, to GabNet, like do a show on GabNet, Rob, with your show, or th that doesn't work? I can't because mean? of the music. You can't well, run the music. Do it, Rob. Huh? How do you do the music? Because uh, I'm, because I'm going to pay royalties. Oh, so if you did that, you could also uh, uh, run I a stream. I suppose if you paid royalties, you could probably run a show here. You, you think know. so? I don't know about yeah, that. Yeah, I think if you're paying the royalties, I think so. Yeah. You know, I mean, they, two they different stations. Well, I don't know. That That's an interesting question. I don't know why it would matter, because neither one of us are going to make any money with this. I'm doing right. it for the come, hobby. Come sue you know. me. I, I, I've got nothing. Look, dust. <laughs> I own dust, okay? <laughs> the only thing I have, we finally have a pet. I told you about the pet. Uh, it's a mouse. Oh. And every now and then, he runs out from under my bed and then back under the bed. And then when I go to look for him, he's not there. Shit, I, would, I couldn't sleep in the room. I would, I, yeah. I, when I had one in the house, I jumped on well, the Well, Marjorie chair. went out and got I wanted to kill him in the room. I couldn't it. She ordered some decon exactly. mouse proof and scattered 30 bags of this stuff all over the apartment. But I'm telling you, we've got traps, everything, and nothing catches this mouse. And I'm getting to the point where I go... <laughs> You know, the mouse isn't hurting us, okay? Put peanut butter on. That's what my mother would do. I put yeah. peanut yeah, butter peanut on. peanut butter does it. I put, yeah. oh, really? I we yeah, took peanut slab. butter. We put it on some sticky stuff, right? We put oh, it under the stuff. bed where the, where, the, where the mouse comes from. Doesn't seem to affect the mouse at all. Just oh, borrow your friend's cat. No, no, monsieur. Yeah. I don't <laughs> want peanut butter. What? <laughs> Maybe it's just not skippy. <laughs> Maybe he wants Peter Pan. I don't know. You yeah, know. I don't just like borrow his... borrow your friend's cat again. Take well, care of the cat. Well, that's what I was thinking. But she flaming. says that uh, the, she doesn't think the cat will do anything. Just look at the mouse and go. Oh, that's nice. You know. So, anyway. You just go in the kitchen with a broom and just say, "Here, mousey, oh, mousey, up. mousey." I'm scared of them. And then yeah. when it shows up, you just beat the shit but out. But I don't want to kill the mouse. I don't. I don't. It's cute. He's cute. Wanna, you don't want to kill it? I, uh, I can't. I can't stand it. I can't have mice, mice in my house. Well, I go it's crazy. No, I think so. One night, I think, on the I think it's the same I have mouse. A mouse story. Yeah. We uh, one night when I, my my first wife, we were living in an apartment. It was the ground floor of a two family house, and I was out working, and I come home at like midnight, and my wife is sitting in her car, and I'm like, oh, what did you just pull up? She said, no, you're not going to believe this. She she was out. She came home. She opened up the doors, and she went into the pantry to make some tea, and everything in the pantry was eaten through. Holes in everything. There was a mess like you cannot believe in that pantry. They even, that whatever mouse, it was only one mouse. It chewed the, and I still have the night tables, it chewed the legs of the night table. You can see where the mouse, so we were sleeping in bed, and this mouse was chewing at these. Wow. The I think that's table. a rat. No, I don't yeah. think so. It was an Alfano oh. mouse. Oh, oh, God, it was an Italian mouse. A church oh, mouse. Oh, yeah, big. right, an Italian <laughs> mouse. Yeah, I, I had Pino. a bag of balls. I had a bag of balls, <laughs> cough drops, it's and there was a mouse at my office desk, and that thing, just like you said, it went it went in there, ate everything, and all the wrappers were there. Empty. Yep. yep. Oh, I skeeved them. Yeah. Oh, holes in it. We had to throw a whole pantry full of food away because everything had fang holes in it. <laughs> Spilled all over the place. Fang holes? Fang mm -hmm. holes, yeah, like the mice were just bit into all of the, the flour and the pasta and you name it. What it what he couldn't eat, it just ransacked. That's one name I have never heard uh, uh, Trump called. Fang hole. Fang hole. Yeah. Oh, he'll, yeah. oh you're right. He'll do it. Yeah. Yeah. I want you from the same. He's a fang on. hole. It's gonna yeah. happen. <laughs> yeah. Did you see the Trump's Beat got a pet cockroach? <laughs> He's got a what? So 
so, a cockroach. Some reporter was at the White House and he took oh, a yeah. photo. There was a big ass cockroach in the White oh, wow. House, and so everybody on Twitter was going, "Oh, that's uh, that's Steve Miller. Or, that's the next tre- Treasury Secretary." Fauci. <laughs> 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 yeah. But uh, Fa- uh, you know, uh, Fauci, uh, Fauci was saying, you know, come on, let's, you know, this it's a little too early to open everything up. You know, uh, you're only asking for more trouble. And by the way, those numbers in some states, Georgia had the highest jump in one day. Yep, one day. Yes, oh, and and you they remember what? And they and of all the people that opened up, they opened up the most. Okay. Prediction: In a month from now, everything's going to be closed tighter than a. Duck's ass. Well, the, no, the, the, the what, country. What was the term yeah. I used to hear? Because years the numbers ago? are going to go crazy. Yeah. It's going to be gonna closed. Go it's going to be closed tighter than oh, a fly's shit. ass at cow time. Cow's ass right. at fly time. Yeah, I mean, the election. If this gets closer to the election. Yeah. Well, what election? Absentee ballot balloting. What? A, what? What election? <laughs> By mail. Yeah. Yeah. Well, he's going to kill say... the post office. You won't be able to vote by mail. I know. Right. And then he's going to say it was rigged. Yeah. Yeah. Well, you know who's going to want to, who wants to buy the post office is what's his name at uh, Amazon? He uh, does. Uh, Jeff Bezos. He does? Yeah. Yeah. Maybe for this. Let him. Well, yeah, yeah. Yeah. No. No, it would cost you 20 bucks to mail a letter. <laughs> That's true. <laughs> Well, you know, somebody said something once, and I, I always thought this made a lot of sense. They said, anytime you want to complain about the, the post office, think about this for a moment. You take a envelope. You take a piece of paper. You put whatever you write into that envelope. You lick it shut. You put, what is postage now? How much does it cost to mail a letter? 55 cents. Uh, 55 cents. You put a, take a 55 cent stamp and put it on that envelope. Now you put it in a mailbox. Somebody comes by and picks up your mail from that mailbox and takes it to the post office. Then that post office drives it out to the airport, puts it on an airplane. It travels all the way across the United States. It lands where somebody else from the post office picks your letter up and takes it to the post office in town that then puts it on another truck that then takes it out to your home and drops it in your mailbox. 55 cents? That's way too much for that. You're right. I didn't think about that. It's highway robbery. It's highway highway robbery. It should only be 10 cents. That's it. No, but I mean, look. I mean, It's true, though. Will that work? Yeah. Uh, This is the oldest functionary of the federal government I think we have. We had a post office before we had a country. Yeah, we did. Hmm? What what'd you say, Charlie? You say, yes, we did. Yeah. 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 Uh, was and, that the Benjamin Franklin? Yep. Yep. But it, we had post office before there was a country, and the post office has been around ever since then. And, uh, you know, it, it, it has always been solvent because it is the only part of the federal government that doesn't need to be subsidized because it's subsidized by its own revenues. But unfortunately, a few years ago, Congress passed some rule that they had to put in the bank like 50 years worth of, uh, of uh, retirement for every postal. 75 years. 75 years for every postal employer. Yep. Employ, uh, everybody's employed by the post office, which came to billions upon billions of dollars yep. that they had to shell out. And that's what kind of drove them broke. If they hadn't no, had to do. The if, company in the country that has to do that. Yeah. Yeah. There, and that was, was passed a, by uh, Congress, by the way. They, they also lost a lot of business to the Internet. No, they and, said they said the Internet has has not hurt them, really, that they've made yeah. up for it. They've made up for it in all these services that uh, that use them to get their packages to people. And so you know on. how they made up for it. Right. Sending me all the junk mail in the world. Yeah, well, that that's a, a junk mail, by the way, is probably paying for a great deal of it, too. Mm-hmm. Uh, the fact yeah. is that they're 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 not making that much less because, quite frankly, people haven't mailed letters in recent years, and it was only in recent years that the price got raised. You know, so it, it's all balanced out. They say that mail has the the uh, internet has had nothing to do with the problem. The problem has been that that big yeah. amount of money they got to pay. That was two thousand six. 
the Republicans lame duck Congress. Why don't why don't the the, the new Congress change it? Can't they? Well, but if they ever get it, the only chance they had to do it was in 2008. Well, what about today? Because by 2010, they lost the Senate. Oh, so you need the Senate? Yeah, you need both houses to pass it. Mm. Well, yeah, well the they're also Republicans Senate had both Senate. houses in 2006. They lost both houses, and in December, in the lame duck session, they passed this law to kill the post office, and they've been killing it ever since. And, and that and that law also uh, restricted how much they could charge for first class mail. Yes, yes. And they're yeah. supposedly a private organization, but the government tells them what to do. Before that, they were profitable. How come they keep raising the price of stamps every other week? They don't do it every other week. Every other week. Every other week. Yes, and, then, yeah. and it's like eight dollars and thirty-five cents to get one of those second day things, the little box. Some of them are eighteen dollars, some of them are twenty-four dollars. Yeah. And you just because shove those are the only ones box. they're allowed to raise. They're not allowed yeah. to raise first class stamps. Yeah. Well I mean, eight eight watch the, the John small Oliver thing. Dollars for the wait, 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 uh, 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 Kevin? What what? Yeah, it's eight bucks for the small one, fifteen dollars for the medium one. I just did one. But <clears throat> I remember when um I was working for DHL back in 72, 73, 74, mm -hmm. and they were, they were uh, at that time supposed to put the post office out of business, them and FedEx. Mm -hmm. They said, oh, well, yeah, the business is going to go away. And I remember when I was working for DHL, we shipped one of the first facsimile machines from <laughs> San Francisco to New York, and the thing was as big as a washing machine and we crated it up and sent it out there and they guaranteed me oh this is going to change everything the Did. facsimile machine is going to take care of the post office and we won't have teletypes remember teletypes i had a telex so that's how we sent off all our stuff i i had a, a western union uh, type telex i have a western union account and I had this Telex that was like a typewriter yeah. with thermal paper, and it yeah, was hooked exactly. up to a coupler, like a 300 baud coupler. You'd stick the phone yeah. receiver in the back of it, and uh, and you'd send and you'd send. That's how we would transmit, you know, our flight information from airport to airport. We'd get out there, and when we stuck all our bags on the airplane, we'd go back in and go, do 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 do, flight 25 going to Hawaii. It's yeah. got six bags, and then all of a sudden you'd get this message back. Ch -ch 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 -ch. Okay, we got it. And then, you know, that was our instant message at that time. Wow. But all that stuff was supposed to replace the post office. Oh, yeah. And it never did. But we still, you know, complain about 55, 55 cents for, a, for an envelope, which is pretty, pretty damn good. In well, I mean, it, 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 something. I paid $1,000 for that telex. And uh, when I sold it at a garage sale for ten dollars, I thought I'd made out like a bandit. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, I, yeah um, all kind of money. You know, you still have a, a printing machine. Uh, what kind of printer? Do you have a printer at home or at the office? Yeah, you know, you yeah, it? I have printers. Uh, you know, laser printers at the office and at home. I have uh, one of those HPs, like uh, Rob told me about, and I also have a uh, photo printer, an Epson uh, 8300, that big monster behind me. Hmm. We used to try and type so fast on that thing, we would get it going so fast, we could type, you know, type, hunt and peck type, and yeah. then walk away from it and let it finish. Well, <laughs> you remember, uh, the kids, if you're listening right now, you're listening to the old folks. Uh, <laughs> And and, yeah. and and our next discussion is going to you remember how slow the internet used to be? Yes. I used remember to crank when we my record popcorn player. Popcorn and asked for what time it was. Listen, I uh, I remember. What were the modem speeds like? Fifty six. Uh, well, those were fast. Fifty six. Uh, uh, fifty six k. Fifty six k. I actually had uh, I actually had eighty k. I had uh, ISDN. Yeah, and that was that was I felt I was flying fast with that. Mm -hmm. Yeah, mm -hmm. you were in that day. Mm -hmm. Yep, you uh, got mail, <laughs> <laughs> right? <laughs> what was the one? I'm trying to remember. What was the one before AOL? Do you remember there was one before them? Oh, there's a bunch of them. Or Compu or no, Prodigy. No, Prodigy, 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 yeah. Netscape was the other one. Yeah. 
you had you had interviewed you had some guests on your CNET show that were talking about email and uh, what and they were talking about what it was like because there was no email addresses like Phil at blah 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 dot com. Now uh, yes, in those was. days, yes, you had to yes, type out like thirty five no, different. No, 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 Phil, Phil. By that time, I mean, I had. I had Al, a, 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 a Bennett at hook.net back in, uh, oh, God. Because uh, you had a guest, no. and they were explaining, and I think they were from AOL. Maybe they were explaining the way it used to be and what they have to go through uh, in, in actuality, what those uh, shorter addresses do. But it was, uh, it was enough to make my head spin <laughs> when I heard you know, what it Yeah, what but no, by that time, there were, like there, that there were email addresses. Specific. Capitals made a difference, too, in the, in the mail addresses, too. And then my name, my last name was Stopper. And, and when they, at the first place, the second place I worked, they shortened up your last name and your email, and mine was Stop. Yeah. And that screwed everything up in DOS. <laughs> <laughs> so they would, you know, they would give me Stop at whatever, and it screwed up the computer system. Yeah, you remember the day? We'll have to change I've... something there. You had the five and a quarter inch floppy disks, and the yeah. program was on one, and the data was on the other. And if you yeah. only had one drive, you had to swap them out. I had two yeah. drives. That's how big, how, how large I was living when I got my first oh. IBM Ooh. PC. I had, had two, two, and then and then I put in my first uh, hard drive. And, wow. and guess how many? I, I, guess how many I, megabytes it was? Ten. Five. Twenty. Twenty. Ooh. Ooh. That was expensive too. I had CPM. I paid three hundred bucks for it. Well, I do CPM. Now we're going back to the eighties. Yeah. Hey kids, you listening? Listen to the old fogies, huh? Huh? Yes. Timex Sinclair <laughs> computer. A Timex Sinclair oh, computer had eight inch floppies. Didn't the Timex use a uh, real to real oh, wow. small little real to real? No, it was a small little thing, and you hooked it up to your TV, so your TV was your monitor. Yeah. Um. I never really knew what to do with it because I was not much of a programmer. Do you know what the first computer was I ever owned? Commodore? Nope. You had the 64. I had Atari. Mega. Atari. Yeah. Well, they, made, Atari they made one. They made one. It was the Atari 800, and it had a keyboard, and it, but only had 40 characters across the screen. That's all. I remember that. Yeah. You had it in the living room in Sausalito on the floor. Mm -hmm. Yeah. 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 Because that's where it did what could the most you do with it back bought? then? Uh, what did you well, do to begin with, with you could play some damn good games. Okay. okay. But uh, you could send... Uh, we didn't have email, uh, but you could... put. There were programs for it. Uh, oh, I know what I used on it. Well, I had VisiCalc for it. Mm -hmm. And VisiCalc was the, was the thing, I think, that established it's computers. Some spreadsheet though? Well, I'll tell you what happened. I got... Uh, somebody gave me a, 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 a bootleg copy of VisiCalc. So I put it in and I... I said, gee, well, I don't know what this is exactly. And I called up my business manager, and he said, when you get a chance, come on over. I said, I want you to see something. And he came over, and I said, so is this something you could use? And he looked at it, and he went, oh, my God, what is this? And he said, it's a spreadsheet. Wait a minute, let me put this in here. Let me put this in. Hey, it added up those two numbers. Let's go get an <laughs> IBM. <laughs> and that's why we got our we're first right IBM. He, he said, uh, he says, I'm sold on this. He said, this is what I've been waiting for all my life because I've been going blind with spreadsheets, you know, putting in all the numbers and then adding them up with the, you know. This thing, you just put in a row of numbers, and at the bottom, it added it up. You told it what you okay. wanted the whole row to do, and that was it. I'm doing it now. And uh, he, uh, you know, he just, uh, he, he, his whole life changed. And <laughs> yeah, the computer I, I bought was, was one of them... Midnight, what, one o'clock in the morning. I bought a computer for two hundred bucks, laying in bed watching TV, and it had like eighty programs with it. Here, you can buy sixty discs with it. And, <laughs> oh shit, that thing was infected in about six months. <laughs> now, uh, before that, I had been in New York, and uh, I—that's where I first met up with an Atari computer oh. at Screw because. Uh, Goldstein would buy everything, okay? Oh, he had everything. And one of the other things he had was an Apple II computer. Oh, yeah. But yeah. I couldn't figure out for my life how to use that. 
It was just it was a little it was a little too much for me. I wasn't yet into that. I, I could I could get into the Atari because you you just could put, you could put cartridges in it, you know, and you'd have your program. Uh, and, but uh, uh, but I remember pl playing around with that Apple, and it was all you know it was all DOS. I mean you had to or yeah. or yeah. Apple DOS or whatever you had to uh, you, you know you had to know how to operate that. And later on with the, uh, with the um, uh, IBM, I learned how to do DOS, you know, and operate with DOS. And then people came out with what they called the graphical user. You listening, kids? The graphical user <laughs> interface. And life was, we were living large. Basic. You know, we were yeah. living large. Uh, what was the company that developed that, that uh, Jobs got it from? Uh, uh, Park, Park, Park Xerox. Park Xerox. Yeah, Park that was Xerox. Well, no, Xerox. Xerox. what he that came up with, Xerox. what he got from them was the graphical user interface that they used and the in... Uh, and they, the mouse. And, and the mouse. The mouse. Yeah. The mouse. He bought the mouse yeah. from the... He got the idea of it, though. He developed the technology himself, but he got the idea of doing that. No, no, no. Them. He actually bought the rights to the mouse from yep. Park Xerox, Xerox. for $50,000. Right. Yeah, they didn't want it. They weren't interested. Yeah. Well... Uh, they they weren't interested, and I mean, they, once he got it, they modified it, but the op you had to buy it because the philosophy behind it, which was that this graphical user interface worked with this mouse, uh, was integral to what they were going to do. But they they did improve it. They also probably improved the graphical user interface too. Uh, but they needed to buy the rights to that so that they could go ahead and and have it in their computer. So. In uh, 75, a friend of mine worked for uh, Fairchild, mm -hmm. and uh, I went over to his house, and he says, you want to play backgammon with the Stanford computer? And he got, he, he got on to the Stanford computer, and this is, I, I don't remember what the name of the, of the uh, thing that he was able to dial up on, but I actually played backgammon in 75 with the... Oh, wow. Yeah, well, in, in about, gotta, ni about 1980, the most exciting thing on the uh, on the internet that you could see <laughs> was uh, the uh, coffee pot at MIT. I think it was. Oh really? Uh, what they did is they wanted to know when the coffee pot needed refilling, so they put it on the internet, so you <laughs> they could see when it needed refilling, and mm -hmm. if you wanted to, you could go there and see it. Yeah. They had video? Yeah. yeah. And then the next thing that came out were vi videos of, of cams everywhere around the world. Oh, you could go to right. uh, 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 Switzerland, they had one. And Times Square, New York. Times Square, New York. Yeah, mm -hmm. things like that. You listening, yeah. kids? Because mm -hmm. Pops is going to be dead in a while, so, you know, <laughs> we're just imparting this to Pay you now. Pay attention to these stories, because yeah. they're going to die off. I still have my punch cards from graduate school. Wow. Yeah, oh, those were the days. Oh, yeah. They had punch cards when I was in grade school. Yeah. 80s. <laughs> The yeah. 80s. I, yeah, yeah. I did the well, that was the beginning. That, uh, well, that, that was IBM months. started with punch cards. In fact, they sold the punch right. card system to Hitler so he could keep track of people in the concentration camps. Yeah. <laughs> Is that right? IBM. <laughs> yep. It's IBM's. IBM doesn't like to talk about that time in their history. <laughs> you know. But they, they literally used punch cards uh, to do that. You know. Wow. And, uh, you know, and then they had, I remember, listening kids, when they had the election, the election results coming through, they yeah. used a thing called Univac on CBS. Yeah. Oh. And, and Univac worked with the punch cards, and they would put the punch cards in there, and, go, <laughs> and they'd say, how, uh, what? How come when a cop shoots somebody, he says, I just punched that guy's ticket? Oh well, that, it, it, because uh, 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 you know, if you like, you you go to uh, Dunkin' Donuts and you buy something and they punch your ticket. Yeah, that's where the term yeah. comes from. Punching <laughs> well, that's the ticket. where it came well, from. when you ride a train, you give them the ticket. The yes. guy would actually bring out a punch and punch a hole well, in your yeah. ticket. Yeah, you take you take it along on the railroad. Remember, a guy oh. would come along and punch your ticket. Mm-hmm. Yeah. yeah. Now, what that has to do with arresting somebody, I have no idea, but that's where it came from. Uh, well, okay. But well. you're the cop. You should know where it came from. Yeah. You should know, I don't know where it came you, from. You right? should know yeah. everything about copies and where copies comes from. Yeah. Uh, 
Yeah. Top you punch your ticket, you're done. Yeah. By the way, we were, one, we, got a, we were one off from the highest amount of people listening on you, at YouTube at one time here a moment ago. Wow. Yeah. So in, in the late 70s, my grandfather was a salesperson for <clears throat> a salesman for uh, um, like a, a office supply place mm -hmm. when they used to go to company to company. So I used to spend summers in Sunnyvale uh, down near San Jose. And yeah. um, one of his accounts was Atari. So I used to go with him and yeah. he would go upstairs and I would go downstairs where they had all of the video games all for free. Mm -hmm. So. I think like Lunar Lander was probably like the biggest, the most current game they had there. So you still had a lot of really weird basic games, but summers used to be fun. Do you know what I still have in storage? Uh, I went out and when I got a, uh, some, uh, what was it? Apple gave me a, uh, no, was it was was it when Apple gave? No, they, it wasn't when they gave me a. Uh, somehow I had I had. A, a a a Mac, uh, or was this a Mac program? I can't remember. But anyway, I had a program in which you could fly the space shuttle. It was a, huh? you know, they, remember they had airplane simulators. Yeah. This was a space shuttle simulator, and guess what shuttle it simulated? The oh, Challenger. God. Oh. And yeah. I got it somewhere. The Challenger simulator. Sorry. And if you get to a certain point, it blows up. It's great. It's wonderful. Uh, no, but it, it was, it, it was the, the, and I don't know that they ever put that out again. I think they pulled it off the market once the Challenger blew up. But uh, anyway, I thought I just, met, well, I brought this to a grinding halt. Right, anyway. Now. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I just didn't well, know I could, where I was when Challenger blew up. Uh, yeah. I tell you all the real working. engineering nerd stuff. Yeah. Yeah, uh, we st I started with a thing called AutoCAD. You, you ever yeah, yeah, I remember AutoCAD. Yeah, yeah. right. And they were from Rosalito. They, no, they were out of San yeah. Rafael. And so. it was, and it was used with AutoCAD, and then it worked with a, with uh, the another company, um, and all of a sudden, they said, "No, nah, we're not going to sell that anymore." And all of a sudden, the equipment was no longer available. You couldn't buy any new one stuff. And they were, like, almost going to go out of business because of that. So they started building other computers from all kinds of small startup companies. And that's how the design really work became. And, of course, today... You can still use it on anything now, on Mac or whatever, any other program it'll work on. But at that point, the program had more interest uh, and was programmed to the computer. Mm -hmm. Wow. Yeah. By the way, I had a full house up and I took it down because Ray hasn't come back. So um, he's just still, so it's not an authentic full house. Yeah. Ray's father, I think, worked for Atari. Yeah. Well, no, it was Apex. A, Apex. A, a, what, what, what was the name of the company that did the tape machines? Uh, Ampex. Ampex. Yeah, okay, worked for Apex. Ampex. Uh, Ampex. Ampex, that's it. Do you know how Ampex I, came to be? Uh, I used to know. Yeah. It's great. I history. know the story you tell about uh, uh, the singer, uh, you know, the, the tape. Oh, it was a German thing. Uh, he stole some technology. He was right. running, well, during World War II. Uh, here comes Bree. Let me put Bree in where uh, Ray. where Ray was. Where was Ray? He was number four. I don't know. He he comes and goes and disappears. And uh, wait a minute. Let me see here. Cancel. Uh, I got a five. I thought he was in How come oh, Ray oh, fifth place. I get stuck in number seven. What? How come uh, Ray was four and I get stuck in seven. Let's see here. Bree <laughs> goes into Ray's spot. Okay. Yeah, there we go. Out. There well, we go. Flush. Yeah. Turn anyway, uh, what? What? Where's Where's that noise coming from? Oh, fan. Sorry, that might be. Oh, it's your fan. Yeah. Sorry. I, I don't have any fans off. left. Anyway, um, so uh, what I'll happened? Sweat. What happened was this. during World War II, Hitler would give a speech, and it would really vex the 
the Allies because they knew Hitler wasn't in the town where the speech was being given. In other words, uh, it would be coming from someplace like Bremer or something like that, and, and they knew he wasn't there. But how was he managing to do a program from that transmitter? So they sent a bunch of so a bunch of guys in to attack one of these radio stations, and they get in there, and they see these machines with tapes on them, and they're playing Hitler, and it sounded like he was live because tape sounded live, or it's Memorex, you know. Anyway, <laughs> uh, and 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 so they took these three machines and they uh, airlifted them out and took them back to uh, to the headquarters. And this guy, this one guy, took one of them for himself and brought it back to the United States and re-engineered it. You know, what, what do they call it? Back Reverse it? engineering. Reverse, engineer, Reverse en yes. engineered it to make it work and improved on it a little bit. And um, th that was the first Ampex. Uh, it was taken from Germany. And uh, he then went down to uh, L.A., and he got a hold of Bing Crosby. And Cr what Crosby was doing, Crosby pre-recorded all his shows, but what he had to do is they would do this segment, and they'd do this segment, and they were all on different discs, and then they would play the discs at different points in time and make a master disc, and it took days, okay? So he said, put me in the hotel across the street, put a wire over there so that I can record the whole show, then call me and tell me how you would like the show to be edited, Okay, and I will get it back to you within an hour. They said, what? <laughs> he said, yeah, I'll get it back to you. And an hour later, he gets it back to them. Crosby listens to it and says, how much to buy into your company? And he was the major stockholder of Ampex. Wow. Yeah. So. You know, Minute Maid, too. Orange Minute, Minute Maid orange juice, yeah. That, too. Yeah. A lot of other things, too. Horses. And he was oh, very, very well. You know, he used to make circuit boards. Who? I had a I had a girlfriend. Her job was this is in the seventies, in the early seventies. She used to use like pin tape, and she uh, like they'd use for um, pinstriping on a car, and she would use this tape, and she would uh, make the circuit board on, uh, with the tape on a very large uh, piece of uh, uh, surface, and then they would photograph it and do some other stuff to it that made it uh, so that they could put the circuits into it, you know, the little resistors and, and all of those things. And that's how they used to make it. She made it very big with the, with the tape, and then they shrunk it down to, well, to these, size. These are printed circuit boards, or these were circuit boards, yeah. and then they actually cut, they made them into solid-state processors, you know. Right. It's how they made yeah. them. All, now, they, all, they, the all they are miniaturized circuit boards. Yeah. I, I used to do that in, in the 70s. I worked at this company called Printex in Mountain View, and, you, and they would like you put these boards in these acid and dip them in different acid, yep. you know. Yep. And and, yep. and like the, the last acid was I they called it nitric acid. I don't know. It was blue. And when you put the board in there, a big orange cloud would come up right in your face. It well, was, that was me. Huh? I used that to deliver that shit. Did you really? Yeah. Oh yeah, I delivered all the chemicals for those etching boards. Yeah. 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 <laughs> and then yeah, the, my clothes would just. Completely disintegrate because the oh, acid those people would get on in those, those people, the, you guys that worked in those in those buildings, I, you go in there and you felt like you left with cancer. Yeah. <laughs> and by the wow. way, by the way, they've made those things so small now that you can't even see them anymore. And they've got thousands of them on one board. You know, yeah, they're it's, nanos. Yeah. yeah. It's amazing. It's amazing. You listening, kids? You listening? Yeah. <laughs> you listening, kids? You listening? They used to you be listening? The size of you listening to Gramps and his smaller. pals talk about the old days, huh? <laughs> yeah, one, one of my friends. Okay, did, boomer. Yeah, one of my friends. Their family started this waste management company. They had one truck, and they were going to all the PC board manufacturing companies and taking their waste. Oh, and I don't know yep. where. I don't know where they put it, but Didn't they, they ended go? up with like 120 uh, trucks. When they sold, and they made a lot of money. Wasn't there gold that they were able to get out of those circuit boards? Yeah, the yeah, company yeah. behind where I used to work used to mine the gold out of those, and all the filters that they used to use in those in those buildings, they would take the filters out and get the gold out of the filters. Wow. And I went into those building one building one time, 
and they actually had a gold bar. They let wow. me hold the gold bar that they would extract these little little bits yeah. of gold and collect them all. Memories. From, from filters and just yeah. crap. The, the junk. All, all that pollution's underneath Levi Stadium. <laughs> yeah. yeah, exactly. Landfill. All the landfill. <laughs> yeah. What was that? What was that? What was that amphitheater down in uh, Shoreline, Shoreline Amphitheater? Shoreline. 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 Do you remember the Shoreline Amphitheater? Do you remember they had a they had a lawn there, and you could yeah. buy yeah, tickets to sit on the lawn. The yeah, was but, but it was built over. Let me finish, Phil. They 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 uh, they built it over, as you say, a a uh, garbage dump. Yep. And all the methane started gathering, and one day the lawn got ca caught fire. Mm -hmm. yeah, people were running out of the stadium. The, the fire <laughs> yes. So uh, we were, I always mm. called it the smoking uh, lawn theater. You know. <clears throat> they had to put vents in there. They did something, and then they yeah, said they had to they had to drill down and, and put uh, vents. Pipe vents. But didn't to, did, wouldn't that leave the wouldn't, wouldn't that smell because <laughs> methane. Well, when you have make when you do a I, fart, okay, a fart is methane. Yeah. So yeah. if it is, I know people who do this. I've never done this in my life. Has anybody lit their ass when they farted? Yeah, yeah, it's I've possible. Seen that in high school, that were good at it. No. I never did it, but they used they, to do it in college. Really? Yeah. yeah. It used to be a big deal. And the reason you can do that is because it's methane. And it's yeah. a gas, mm -hmm. you know, which uh, made me think, why in the world, with all the people dumping crap in the sewer systems of these cities, don't we turn that crap into methane? Well, that's what my company used to do. Really? Yeah. My company, methane. that's what they were doing when I was leaving. They were, they were yeah. extracting methane from the sewage plants and yeah. converting it into uh, uh, storing the gas and putting it into the cars. Yeah. So, Rob, what was your first computer? do it down in L.A. a lot. Rob, what was your first computer? My well, first computer was at uh, Timex Sinclair. Okay. And yeah. then I got a, when I got my first Windows PC, it was um, NCR. NCR. Mm. Badged PC. They had a 100 gig hard drive with Ooh, 2 gig of RAM or 4 gig of RAM. It was running Windows 3.1.1. Yeah, that was my first, and that was like in '92. I was late to the computer game. And do you remember that there used to be a limit that they could only go up to 640k? Was it? Yeah, that yeah. was the memory. Yeah, the memory, yeah. and then they did something so they played a trick on the memory and were yes. able to get it to jump over to more memory. Until so they got to the 64-bit systems and they let go of the backward compatible yeah. nature. Oh yeah x86 yeah. computers yeah yeah so kids that's the way it was way back when before we were inside because of a virus so yeah. back in the day well, it, it, those were the days well you know this is uh this this virus i think is going to put us back in the stone age i think it really is uh i i just don't see how things are going to if people say oh things will get better soon no uh -uh. no 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 it's going to be a while hold on you know, I mean, yeah. you know, yeah. sure. it's I, going to be a problem is with restaurants and uh, movie theaters, uh, music venues, colleges, uh, cities, cities, <laughs> civilizations. Yeah. Civilizations. I said to Marjorie, how, how, how do you go forward in New York City? You can't not without any. Esther, uh, say again. What? Move to Westchester. Move to well, I, yeah. tell, I, you know, for years, I've yeah, told Marjorie, I was... What amazes me is that I've people are still going out and doing stuff. Like, oh, they're idiots. Like there's nothing they're happening. morons. They're, and, you know, I... I read I, uh, I don't like an article today. today. There was a, a guy, I think Victor was in New York, and his father was a, was a may have been a pastor or a preacher, and the, he went, and the son was 23 years old, and he went and, you know, put on the mask and stuff. And he went to be with his father as he passed away from COVID. And 16 days later, the 23-year-old son also died. So, you know, we I guess we just don't learn. Yeah. yeah. If we you heard are, LA is going into July now, right? Yeah. yeah. If you think that this is political and you're and you you're gonna side on the politics over your health. Well, I guess you deserve. Well, what you, you know, get. Uh, uh, and this is something Cuomo has been <clears throat> been saying, and he's he said it the other day. He said, 
this is not time for partisan politics. You know, it's no. really not time for partisan politics. You know, th th these are pe there are people dying out there. And when you play partisan politics... It's coming politi out of the word work, though. It's huh? coming out. I, I listened to the local county uh, board of supervisors meeting here today, and they allowed people to come out and, you know, speak their opinion in public, yeah. public comment. And these guys came out of the woodwork today. We're not wearing no mask. We're not doing this. We're going to open up. We're not going to listen to you. And it came out of the woodwork today. And I went, holy crap. And even one of the supervisors said, I'm not going to listen to the governor. We're going to go ahead and do what we got to do. Well, I'll tell you one and thing. And I went, holy crap. You know, this is what they're waiting our, for. The local yeah. government doing this. This is the, this is the, they were, they were looking for a reason to start bringing out like bazookas and big weapons. And That's, this is the, the, you, know, that's you, the reason. you read that article I sent you, Alex? Your mic isn't on, Phil. No, don't tell him that. <laughs> <laughs> it might be on now. Uh, yes. I, I have a question. Uh, how come it's okay to open a Walmart, a Home Depot, a Lowe's, <laughs> and all of these other things, but it's not okay to open up a carpet store that sees uh, three, four people a day? You know, and well, that, I, uh, I agree. You know, I agree with you. I don't. I, agree I, I think you. Walmart probably should only be open to the extent that if they're selling foodstuffs, that would yeah. be fine. Okay. Right. Uh, I could see a Costco staying home because it's open because it's part primarily a, a food store and a pharmacy and things like that. But I, I'm able to clean my samples. That everybody, you know, if anybody touches, they get get clean. <clears throat> If uh, I clean the door handles, I, well, my warehouse, but, yeah, you yeah, know, it's fine. We, we, and I understand we, that, Phil, well, but the, the reason is you're not an essential service. You're really not. I mean, I don't want to put down what you no. do for a living, but you're not an essential service. Lo Lowe's up. is open because of plumbing and stuff. You've got to be able to fix your plumbing if a plumbing breaks. Right. So I just don't understand, but it's okay to do that because you got to do it. But it's not okay uh, for a guy to cut. All right, let me ask you this. Let me ask you this. How do you a, how, how do you feel one. about Elon Musk with Tesla now? I I'm mean, so I, glad I think stood up I, I think he's I think he's a fucking asshole. I really um, do. I'm out of him, and uh, you know, he just said, "Hey, look, it's all robotics anyway. Why can't he be open?" But, but have you, you seen know? the planet? It's not all robotics, Phil. No, Are you out of your mind? It's a lot of it. Well, not enough. There's Ten thousand people yeah. working there. Their parking lots are full, have, working overtime and double time. They're they're stretched. Yeah, but those are ten thousand people that want to feed their families. Phil, <clears throat> Phil, he's Fully putting their lives that. and in jeopardy. He's no, the putting, whole idea. He's was putting two their weeks lives their in jeopardy. No, no, no. The idea was two weeks to 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 stem the curve so that we didn't overwhelm the health. No, uh, that wasn't facility. it at all. It was stop it until we got better. And, and they just and, keep moving. Well, well, people went out on Mother's Day. Yeah. In Pittsburgh, Red Lobster and Olive Gardens were swamped. Yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. Now, what's to tell you about people in Pittsburgh? <laughs> anyway, hey, listen, now we got we got a theme it tells playing. Tells us the same as everybody else. Yeah, yeah. they got taste in restaurants. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah. That's a and, terrible. Restaurant. Anyway, listen, uh, uh, we got we got to go here, but we'll we'll do this whole thing again tomorrow, and then the day after that, and the day after that, and I'll probably do it until I drop dead here. Anyway, um, uh, th thank you so much, uh, Brian. As usual, first up, very good at being the first to call. Jeff, thank you. Thank you, Charlie. Third to call. Fourth to call was John Larkin tonight. Uh, also out there in Malaysia, the lovely and attractive Bree. Uh, coming to us from uh, his home, Kevin. Of course, Phil. Uh, Tony. And finishing off with Rob. And uh, if all of you would be give a big wave goodbye, I'll give you a big wave goodbye. And then I will slowly fade to me. Okay. All right. Thanks, everybody. That was our uh, that was our citizen panel for tonight. Hope they'll be here for, uh, for the next show, which is, of course, uh, the, uh, the, uh, uh, the 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 uh, the intersection with Jack Bishop. Excuse me. I'm trying to shut everything down here. This is what happens when you're the cook and bottle washer and all that. I'm Alex Bennett. See you tomorrow night, same time, same station in life, 10:30. Eastern uh, Daylight Time. In the meantime, if you see her, 
tell her I love her, okay? Bye, everybody. <laughs>